I'm Lawrence Cummings and I'm directing the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment in the Night Shift concert at Wilton's Hall. Uh, we're championing the works of Handel, the great dramatist from the Baroque era, with the fantastic mezzo-soprano Renata Pokopic. We tend to think now of classical music being a very formal process. You go to a concert hall, you sit down, you, everyone shuts up, um, and you're told not to turn off your mobile phone and, and all those usual things. The lights go down and the emphasis is on the concert. And whilst that's a fantastic experience, I think, for, for music lovers, of course, it's not truly reflective of what was going on in the 17th and 18th centuries. Um, particularly in London, the, 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 be the beginning and middle of the 18th century was the, the birth of public music making. So music written and played for audiences, not just nobility, but people who'd actually paid for their tickets. And of course, the thing with, with people paying for their tickets, it does give them a certain entitlement to behave how they want to behave. Um, so I think the, the audience was often quite noisy um, until, of course, the big star turned up and then everyone shut up. Um, and also probably felt free to eat and drink to um, just enjoy themselves with, with a good night out. One of the things that annoys me at the moment um, in the perception of classical music is that classical music is somehow relaxing. Um, in fact, it should be all but. It should be totally stimulating. You should be exhilarated, you should be made to feel grief-stricken all in the course of one evening. And I think we as musicians really want you to do that. We, we want you to experience the music as we do. And in fact, it's our job to make sure you do. Um, it's slightly amusing and also uh, disturbing that they play classical music now at stations in order to c uh, encourage young people not to congregate there, which I think is a real shame because I think they'd enjoy it. Um, but it's also partly, I think, about breaking down barriers. We are too stuffy, for sure, in our concert giving in general. And the, the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment is, is brilliant at, at debugging those, those sort of uh, norms. And the, the, for the night shift, it's, it's, it's brilliant because it's just how music making should be. It's, it's interactive, it's direct, and it's very much actually in the spirit of how Handel composed his music. He wanted his audience to be there all the time, to be with him, to be following it, and to be moved by the music. It's rather wonderful because a lot of his music was played in pubs and taverns, and it's interesting to sort of um, imagine how that would have been. And uh, I, I rather love the idea of, of being in an informal venue and hearing some of his music really come to life. And anyway, for, for us as musicians, it's great to make music a bit later on in the evening because we, we also feel a bit more relaxed later on. And knowing that the audience is excited to be there, coming for something a bit different, actually really enervates us, and, and that, that's very exciting. Um, I also really enjoy uh, the, the fact that after the concert, we can go and meet the audience and, um, you know, and have a drink and, and relax, and, and actually, hopefully, makes, makes people realize that we're human beings too and, um, you know, that we enjoy a pint like the rest of them. Cheers. Thank you.